Good morning, my beautiful brothers and sisters in Yeshua. Today is Sunday, the 16th of April, 2023. It is 9.55 a.m. here in Australia. I hope you're well. I hope you're blessed. Brothers and sisters, I just want to come on here this morning and give you a bunch of encouragement and uplifting messages because I have just been going through my own comments and um, comments on other people's pages and there seems to be a bit of a barrage of people saying that the the actual physical literal rapture is not true and it's just a spiritual shift and i just want to get on here brothers and sisters for anybody who's even um, entertaining that idea that the rapture is not real that the promise is not real that our redemption is not real i need you to understand with all my heart soul and mind brothers and sisters that the word of God is so very, very true. Like that is where the truth is, okay? When God, uh, our Father, Yahweh, Abba, when he um, inspired the holy men to write the word of God, okay? It was with absolute truth. Our God is not a God of confusion and our God loves and our God saves, okay? The first thing I want to say is, um, you know, people like to uh, talk about Noah, okay? Look, look at Noah. He didn't, you know, he went through it. He had to go through the tribulation because he was on the boat and the boat was rocking through the seas and everything like that. Again, brothers and sisters, I tell you that the world as we know it was not ending at that stage, okay? It was, Noah was supposed to um, procreate the world again and uh, continue the the bloodline right so Noah had to be protected within the ark him and his family so that um, you know the bloodline could continue on this is why but but still brothers and sisters Noah was lifted above the waters okay above the waters in the ark kept safe kept protected for us now brothers and sisters where there's millions millions of people okay and we need to be removed okay and I want to show you something quickly here before I get to this verse in Matthew because it is so very important brothers and sisters that you know the word of God is true and watching and waiting and having the faith the absolute hundred percent faith without doubting that the rapture the deliverance the salvation, the hapazo, the catching up, the snatching away, whatever you want to call it. Brothers and sisters, please hold that in your heart, in your mind, in your soul, in every essence and every breath you breathe. Hold that to be truth because it is, brothers and sisters. Do not let any person steal your crown of righteousness. Remember that Paul says there is a crown of righteousness waiting for you in heaven, right? And he said, not only for me, but for, for everybody that is longing for the appearing of their Lord and Savior, Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Okay, whoever longs within deep and within their soul, who yearns for the appearing of Yeshua, Jesus Christ, who waits patiently for our Messiah, that crown of righteousness is waiting for us. Do not let anyone steal that crown, especially right now, brothers and sisters. We are so close to this day. So I want to go. Um, we have Hebrews. 9 28 okay so Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many okay he did that it's done the price is paid okay no person is worthy enough for God okay we all come short of the glory of God but because of what his son his one and only begotten son did on the cross we have been found worthy because we're covered in the blood of Yeshua, Jesus Christ. And it's only through our faith in that, that we believe, receive and confess with our mouths that Yeshua, Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins and covers us in his blood. And then his father rose him again three days later and he ascended to heaven where in heaven he said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. That the extension on his father's mansion just as a Galilean um, groom would go off to build an extension on his father's house for his new, newly to be bride, right? That's exactly why Yeshua did everything in Gal Galilee. 
okay because there's a message behind it and he wants you to know that you you are his bride you are precious and you have been paid for with his life so brothers and sisters please there's such a fervency in my spirit this morning because i see the um the onslaught of people saying the rapture is not real it's particularly this morning because satan knows the time is so close brothers and sisters so so again hebrews 9 28 so christ was once offered to bear the sins of many and unto them that look for him shall he appear a second time without the sin unto salvation okay those that are looking for him jesus will appear to if you're not looking for him he ain't coming for you brothers and sisters do not get on that deceptive boat of the rapture is just a spiritual shift um, or a state of mind it is a f thank you father god for the confirmation the rapture is indeed a physical departure okay that's what it originally said if you go back and have a look at uh, of some videos of mine where um, it's entitled something about the rapture is a departure i'll show you in a sec but it literally says that day shall not come unless there is a departure first and that man of sin goes into the son of perdition the departure was in all the bibles brothers and sisters all the original bibles until the reams catholic bible and the king james version of the bible okay that is why we are told as christians from the pulpit to only read the king james version okay because they changed it to falling away the apostasy right it originally said the departure first the departure has to happen first and it literally meant um a single event the departure okay so and the departure meant a literal departing of where one is standing father god is going to snatch us like it says in revelation 12 that man child was caught up to the throne of god okay and so that he was hidden from the face of the dragon brothers and sisters please believe this with all of your heart soul and mind do not get confused or deceived by these people who are telling you that the rapture is just a spiritual thing and saying um you don't want to be the people that are getting raptured away it's you want to be here on this earth okay the raptured people are, are the bad people they're going to be taken away that is not true brothers and sisters that is not true so christ was once offered to bear men, the sins of many unto them that look for him he shall appear a second time unto sin with salvation now we go here in isaiah 26 20 come my people enter in thy into my chambers and shut the door just like the ark okay hide thyself for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed okay father is saying my children come into my chambers okay that's his mansion the places that Yeshua has been preparing for us are in father's mansion okay there's many mansions for us he's that's what he's been doing for the last 2000 years is making these mansions for this very verse enter into thy chambers and shut the door just like on the ark and hide thyself for a little moment until the indignation overpasses attack okay god wants you to hide yourself in his chambers while he goes over and sorts sorts out the bad people down here on earth okay notice it says be over pass okay pass over the connection is there brothers and sisters i'm telling you okay so um what else i wanted to talk to you about was in matthew 24 look at this brothers and sister oh before i talk about matthew 24 getting back to this come my people enter into thy chambers and shut the door and hide thyself brothers and sisters there's so many connections no matter what way you look at it if we're looking at the true calendar and as i was explaining yesterday that may the fifth on the full moon may truly be the first day of uh, nissan if that is the case brothers and sisters then the 20th of um the 20th of april on that hybrid solar eclipse will be Purim. do you hear what i'm saying brothers and sisters it will be Purim. and what is Purim? 
it's all about Esther, the hidden bride. You cannot make this up. The hidden bride. Come hide thyself for a little moment. Okay, just like in Revelations when it said, um, uh, you know, um, hang on, I've got to go there before I mince my words. It's in Revelation 6. So that little moment, hide thyself for a little moment is the same as... And white robes were given unto all of them, and it was said to them they should rest for a little season. The little season and the little moment is the same thing, okay? But notice they were given white robes. Brothers and sisters, you cannot have a white robe until you have a body. I'm telling you, April the 20th, on that hybrid, that solar eclipse, my beautiful brothers and sisters, I truly, truly, truly think, and if you see my video that I did, um, and it seems like everybody is onto this now, everybody is onto this solar eclipse now being something significant, and the, the fact, um, the relation to do with the Jonah, the sign of Jonah, is unbelievable. So many people are adding to this puzzle bit about the sign of Jonah. It's incredible, it's wonderful to watch, and it's uh, very exciting. So... Um, so the fact that it could, from what my video was saying when I first did that video on the sign of Jonah and the, the hybrid eclipse on the 20th of April, I was saying that that was true Passover. Whether that is true Passover or whether May 19th is true Passover, it's one or the other, brothers and sisters. We are literally in a window of like 35 days max. This is unbelievable, brothers and sisters. And what I wanted to show you is in Matthew 24. Listen to this. Immediately after the tribulations, the tribulation of those days, this is not the great tribulation, okay? This is not the great tribulation. We were promised we are not appointed to wrath. We're not going to be here, okay? Immediately after the tribulation of those days, those days, brothers and sisters, everything we read here, okay? It's the, um, you know, the... False prophets shall arise, kingdom against kingdom, famine, pestilence, earthquakes. This is what we've been living through, okay? It's the labor pains, getting ready to give birth. That is what the tribulation of those days are. So this is where we're at, literally at verse 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, listen to this, brothers and sisters, shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. What is that, brothers and sisters? That, my friends, is a solar eclipse. When the sun is darkened and the moon shall not give her light. Absolutely beautiful, brothers and sisters. I am telling you, and what does it say in Thessalonians, right? That the departure needs to happen first and then the man of sin will be revealed to the son of perdition. So, is it possible that this is why we've seen the two dates? That the sun shall be dark and the moon shall not give her light, meaning that we are going to go on this solar eclipse, brothers and sisters, okay? Because it is the signs in the sun and in the moon, both they're both together, right, on top of each other. And the stars shall fall from heaven and look what happens. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. What's that? The rapture, the deliverance, the harpazo, okay? This is absolutely amazing. Notice in Mark, uh, Matthew, Mark, it says the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. It says nothing about the moon turning to blood and the sun going black as sackcloth. Why? Because I truly think on May 5th, when uh, Prince Charles or whatever gets coronated, and there's something I want to show you about that too. On May 5th, that is the full moon. Okay, maybe, brothers and sisters, that's when the true Antichrist is going to be revealed. That's why it says that the, this, um, the moon's going to turn to blood and then the sun will be black as sackcloth. Is this where the timeline will be? So the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, the rapture, is from a darkened sun and the moon not giving her light, a natural occurrence. But this will be supernatural. 
because it'll be an awesome solar eclipse, a rare hybrid solar eclipse, happens to be on the birth date of Hitler, of all people, okay, one of the world's greatest antichrists. And what does Father do? On Pyram. On Pyram, brothers and sisters. He changes the plans of the enemy and swaps them and turns them upside down so the enemy has a, it falls on their own head. Are you hearing what I'm saying, brothers and sisters? If April 20th, the, um, the hybrid solar eclipse is truly Pyram, then the plans of the enemy are going to be flipped upon themselves and they are going to have a tribulation, a great tribulation, a time of trouble like never before and never will be again. It'll be so bad. And this is what's going to start it. The sign of the Son of Man in heaven, the deliverance, the harpazo, the salvation, the rapture, the redemption of the bride, the removal of the, the bridegroom, the removal of the bride, the voice of the bride. Okay, the removal of the candlesticks. No more are you going to hear it anymore. I would take this very seriously, brothers and sisters, because the signs are in the heaven, and it says in Luke that there's going to be great signs in the sun, moon, and stars. Okay, so that to me, when I read that, I'm like, that's what it is. The sun shall be dark and the moon shall not give her light. That is a solar eclipse, brothers and sisters. The stars falling from heaven... There is a meteor shower on uh, two days later on the 22nd of April. Okay, and then the, there's going to be the sign of man in heaven. No sign, but the sign of Jonah. What's the sign of Jonah? Okay, as I showed you in Stellarium. If we have a look in Stellarium, I'll go here to Jerusalem. And we're going to have a look at the sun. Okay. We're going to have, go to the 20th. And we're going to take the landscape off, put the constellation. Look, brothers and sisters, see this here? Cetus. Okay, Cetus here is the largest constellation in the sky. It is known as the whale. This is the sign of Jonah brothers and sisters and the sun when you read about cetus it traverses the southern part of the sun traverses cetus the whale one day each year you cannot make this up this brothers and sisters is true Pyram or true passover i'm telling you either way it doesn't matter to me i just i'm just looking keeping my head up keeping my spirits up being encouraged brothers and sisters that we have got to be out of here before the son, uh, the, the man of sin can go into the son of perdition. Okay, because this is also known as the dragon, as the sea monster, right? And where does the beast rise from? From the sea. So if you want to look at it that way, you know, he gets cast down, we go up, brothers and sisters. Okay, and that is why when, when the um, Satan gets cast down, his spirit can possess the man of sin turning him into the son of perdition but that cannot happen until we're departed first until we go into those chambers and shut the door and hide ourselves like esther the hidden bride brothers and sisters i'm so excited okay i am absolutely so excited so i'm i'm proposing to you that immediately after the tribulation of the days we're living in now, the sun shall be darkened, the moon won't give her light, there's going to be a total hybrid solar eclipse, okay? And this is going to be the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, okay? Because the only sign we were going to get given was the sign of Jonah, as you can see right here, okay? And then I propose that on March, uh, sorry, May the 5th and 6th on that full moon when Prince Charles, Charles is being coronated, that is when you're going to see the great earthquake, the sun going black and the moon turning to blood. Okay, and that's when it all kicks off. That's literally 15 days later. There is a lull. There's going to be the peace and safety in between those 15 days, brothers and sisters, 
because the voice of the bridegroom is gone. It's removed. No more nagging. No more telling people to repent. All of those voices that have been begging you, begging you and pleading with you to repent and come into the kingdom of heaven and uh, to believe in Yeshua Jesus Christ as the son of the living God, all those voices will be gone and people the wicked, they, they will feel like they're free. This will be the false sense of peace and security. And then on the full moon, there'll be a great earthquake. The sun will be black and um, the moon will become as blood. And then it is on. Look, because the people are going to run to the, uh, you know, the rich men. And everybody's going to run to the rocks, okay, to the dens, to the caves, to the underground bases and whatever. Because they know this time is coming. They know this time is coming and they've got that's why they've prepared these underground bases. Brothers and sisters, you hearing what I'm saying? It's gonna be their downfall. Isn't isn't it amazing? Because in one of the books, I'm not sure if it's the book of Yasha or Jubilees, but it talks about Cain. You know how he slew um, Abel with a rock, right? Well, it says in one of those books that Cain later actually died because his house, which was made by rocks, fell on him. And look at what these people are doing. The mighty men hid themselves in the dens and the rocks of the mountains, saying to the rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of his wrath has come. This is it, brothers and sisters. With every ounce, I cannot see it going past the, the May 5th, May 19th. It, I cannot see it going past this. This is a spiritual, uh, a physical, celestial alignment like no other. So again, I reiterate, we are here at verse 29 in Matthew 24, verse 29, immediately after the tribulation of those days, which are literally about to end in another four more days. Okay, the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. That is the solar eclipse, I'm telling you. And the stars shall fall from heaven. That is the meteorite shower. And it's going to be incredible. Okay. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. The rapture, the harpazo, the salvation, the deliverance, the catching up. The truth. Our great blessed hope. And then everybody. Everybody in the world shall mourn. Because they've seen Yeshua Jesus Christ coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Okay, and then the 15 days later, uh, yeah, 15 days later, there's going to be a great earthquake. The sun's going to turn black as south cloth and the moon as blood on that full moon on May 5th and 6th. Okay, when the coronation of that king is of King Charles. Okay, and then the men are going to run. They're going to run to their underground bunkers. Brothers and sisters, this is, you need... To believe and have faith and trust and hope and belief. This is what the oil in the lamp is. It needs to be overflowing with faith, faith, trust, hope and belief in the promise of your Saviour. That's why he's called the Saviour. Because He he's going to give us salvation. Okay, brothers and sisters, I am, I am just so pumped. I, I need you to know and understand that this is true. Okay, the price that Yeshua Jesus Christ paid on the cross was enough. And it says if the, the enemy, if they knew, if Satan knew what Satan was going to do on the cross, he would have never crucified him. Because the gift is sure, our salvation is sure, our redemption is sure. But the price we pay is through our faith. There's nothing else. There's no works. There's no nothing. It's through our faith that saves us. That is the message of the gospel 100%. Okay, all your good works that you do come naturally from your faith. If you believe this to be true, naturally you want to do good things and be kind and tell people about this. I wept the other night. Every now and again you get the realization that this is coming to a head, brothers and sisters, and those that are rejecting the people that you love in your life, those that are rejecting this message, they will be left behind and it is heart-wrenching. But we have been put in these people's lives for a reason. And if you haven't done it, 
Yet, I suggest you use these last four days, brothers and sisters, to share the gospel like never before. It does not matter if you are looking like a fool, because this is eternity that we're talking about. You must, you must, you must, you must share this fervently. You must let them know that there is a way out and, and tell them to look at the world around them to see what's going on. There was a meteor that just went through Israel yesterday on the 15th. Um, look at the state of Israel, okay? Iran and, and everybody around them, okay? Everybody around them is ready to attack. And apparently the 20th of April on that solar eclipse is the last day of Ramadan, okay? And there's been many prophecies that um, that's when they're going to attack. And what does it say in Luke 21? When you therefore see the army surrounding Jerusalem, look up because your redemption draws near. Okay? Because the abomination of desolation is very, very, very close. When you see this, when the armies are surrounding Jerusalem, it is now, brothers and sisters, it is now. So the sign of Jonah, the whale, or the sea beast, the sea monster, Okay, the southern part of the sun eclipses or traverses through the head, giving, and I had a comment or an email um, on my video, and someone said, it's funny because the way I see it, right, is Satan gets a deadly head wound from Michael the Archangel who casts him down, and um, that deadly head wound, because Satan is a spirit, will transverse and go into the man of sin, right? Which I believe is Trump, turning him into the son of perdition. So Trump, therefore, is going to have that deadly head wound, meaning he's going to be taken out in some way, and then he's going to be resurrected. This is why the whole world will wander after him. He's already loved. He's already seen as the Messiah. He's already worshipped by many Christians, and don't tell me he's not. He is. He's more reverenced than Jesus Christ himself. Brothers and sisters, I need you to hear me. We're in the stages of now of mass deception. Okay? This is it, brothers and sisters. This is really it. Okay? Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven. And then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven. That is a solar eclipse. That is amazing. As, as I've said in my other videos... This solar eclipse here matches identically to uh, the solar eclipse that happened at the time of Christ. Okay? And because it's over Australia, as I told you, China is right above Australia. And that Chinese emperor wrote at the time of Christ's crucifixion, he could not have known. Christ had just died, had just been crucified. And this Chinese emperor wrote, that the, the sun was eclipsed and the moon was eclipsed at the same time. And this is why it was divine. Right? And he wrote that a man from heaven died and all the sins of the world were placed on his shoulders. And then three days later, that same emperor saw the sun with a rainbow halo around it. And when you have a look at Revelations 10.1, you see that Yeshua Jesus Christ is described exactly as that. Clothed in cloud with a rainbow on his head. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, this is where it's at. This is so exciting. I just wanted to come and bring this short video to you to tell you that it's literally in the scriptures. And for you to believe, okay, come my people, enter into my chambers and shut the door just like the ark. Hide thyself for a little moment, just like Esther, the hidden bride, until the indignation be overpassed, pass over. At the midnight hour, brothers and sisters, the shackles will be free. This is absolutely amazing. I don't know what time, because of the time zones, whatever, whenever. we just got to keep patiently waiting. But I truly, truly, truly feel with all my heart and soul that this is where it's at. And I've always wondered why it talks about one instance where the sun and moon are just being dark. And then in the next instance, the sun actually is going black and the moon is turning to blood, you know, like in Joel. And I think the reason it was in Joel, uh, Joel 2, about the moon turning to blood, is so that the Jews know. 
when they see this thing happen, they're going to know. They're going to remember Joel because they don't read the New Testament, right? But they're going to remember Joel. They're going to remember Joel too. Let's go there. Quickly. They're going to see this and they're going to know. Okay, look, it's a day of darkness, of gloominess, a day of clouds, of thick darkness as the morning spreads across the mountains. There you go. It could be the morning. Okay, I was listening to a, a very old preacher from the 1940s last night, a bunch of his messages, beautiful. And he was saying it's going to happen between like um, in the morning, basically around nine o'clock in the morning. And this you know this makes a lot of sense a day of darkness gloominess a day of clouds and thick darkness as the morning sp spreads across the mountains okay so in the morning when the sun is rising the new day is starting okay this is when it's going to go down it will in th in all the three different time zones it's going to probably happen at midnight probably going to happen at dawn probably going to happen at dusk around the world you know what i'm saying so just be ready be ready but where does it say this? Um, here. And I'm going to show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, the blood, the fire, the pillars of smoke, okay? All the earthquakes and the volcanoes and everything going off for the moment. And all the seas turn into blood, okay? The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord comes. Okay, so in Joel, they have the moon turning to blood. Okay, they're going to see this. They're going to know this. And the time uh, Jacob's trouble, Jacob had his name changed to Israel. This is for Israel, brothers and sisters. The trouble is for Israel so that they will turn back to God, their father. Okay, because they've been unfaithful. They've been whoring after other gods. This is the time for them to turn back. But this, the bride... The rapture, the redemption, the snatching away before the wrath. This is for us, those who are faithfully waiting for the appearing of Yeshua Jesus Christ. Do not let anyone steal your crown. There is a crown of righteousness waiting for you, brothers and sisters, for the, all those who love the appearing of our loving Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. So this is where it's at brothers and sisters i truly truly believe and it seems to be that all my brothers and sisters around the world are now getting the same message about this eclipse when father showed me this about the the fact about cetus okay the whale and the sun only goes through one day a year and that day happens to be passover or Purim, because both of them make absolute perfect sense Right, Purim is when you know all the disasters were planned for God's people, but then on that day, God flipped it upside down, and all the disasters fell on the evil ones instead. You know, perfect. And this, and for Passover, there's nothing new under the sun, brothers and sisters. This is very exciting. I need you to keep faithful, keep strong. This is looking good, looking fantastic. I just wanted to give you encouragement and not to listen to those that are telling you that this rapture, the redemption, the truth of the word of God is only a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual shift and the rapture is not real. And, and if it is, it's the, the bad people that need to be raptured away. No, we need to be taken into the chambers. We need to be snatched away quickly. Okay, the twinkling of an eye. The Lord himself will come and meet us. Okay, Whoosh. straight away in the twinkling of an eye. We won't even know. We'll just be here one minute, go on the next. And this is why it says there'll be two in the field. There'll be two grinding at the mill. There'll be two sleeping in the bed. It's going to be like it is right now, brothers and sisters. Tick tock, tick tock. Normal days before anything's gone down. And then one will be taken and the other will be left. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, that's why he says, like the days of Noah, they're eating and drinking, they're carrying on like normal. And they didn't know until the flood came and took them away seven days later. And they're not going to know. The bride is a very small bunch of people compared, you know, there's going to be tens of thousands of people, absolutely. But 
in, in consideration of this, the, um, how many people live on this earth right now, it's only a small percentage because the bride are faithful. They are the ones looking for the appearing of Yeshua Jesus Christ and they shall be rewarded with a crown of righteousness and removed from the trouble ahead because they had faith and they believed in the word of God and what was written and what was promised and they were faithful to that. It's all about faith, nothing else. So be faithful. Have your lamp overflowing with hope, trust, faith and belief because we are coming down to the wire now, brothers and sisters. Down to the wire. So, um, and, and funny that being the 16th, you know, if it is Passover on the 20th, okay, the 16th would make it the 10th of Nissan then. Today would be the Trump triumphal entry and many people... Brother Steve Fletcher, they're looking at, you know, this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Who knows? He was seen the first time he came as Messiah, the first time of the triumphal entry. It could be today. Who knows? All I know is that that verse in Matthew 24, where the sun will be dark and the moon won't give her light, and then the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and everybody's going to mourn after that. That just fits perfectly like a key. And then, like I said... Um, 15 days later on that full moon of, of May's full moon 5th and 6th when the coronation of that king is then you know the moon might turn to blood and it will apparently apparently there's going to be a null eclipse or um, penumbral lunar eclipse I'm not sure but either way I don't think a lot of people in the world know what's about to hit them I just want to show you something quickly too before I go Look at this. I just found this article. I just want to mention something briefly. Everything you need to know about the coronation of the King Charles, right? Go down here. Um, what's coronation? Is the act, what is the coronation? The act or occasion of crowning. Okay, what does it say in Daniel 9? Okay, they want to... Uh, there's seven things, right? You've got 70 weeks. Uh, 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 God's people has 70 weeks to get these seven things done. And that's like put an end to sin, end to transgression, um, everlasting, bring in everlasting righteousness, you know. And the last thing was to anoint the most holy. Satan copycats everything Yeshua does. And everything that Father God has planned, Satan will copycat, Okay. Because he can even appear as an angel of light. And look at this. It's an act, an occasion of crowning. Okay. The monarch's role as the head of the Church of England. Okay. So it's got to do with the church. Um, and look, this is an article from Town and Country magazine. Look at the invite to the coronation, which is full of hidden symbolisms. I mean, look at this. In the corner here, you have a wild boar. Right, a wild boar, which are, with a crown on its neck, and being tied up. And over here, you got a unicorn being tied up. Weird. And they're even crowning Queen Camilla. They're making her a queen, which is weird. Okay, look at this face down the bottom. Looks like a tongue. You know, the evil tongue sticking out. Um, I want to find this place where it talks about the Jewish um, people are going to be involved. Two seconds. Here, the anointing. Listen to this. King Charles will, will remove his ceremonial robe and sit in the coronation chair. And then the Archbishop of Canterbury will anoint him with holy oil. The Patriarch of Jerusalem and the Anglican Archbishop in Jerusalem consecrated the oil at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre early this year. At Queen Elizabeth's coronation in 1953, the anointing was not filmed. Are you serious? The Patriarch of Jerusalem anointed this oil. Every, okay, you know, the King Charles will be presented with two scepters, an orb and a scepter, the sovereign scepter with dove. I, 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 I don't want to go into this because we're not looking for the Antichrist, but I just thought 
you know, the clues are there, the messages are there. God is telling you, wake up, this is going to happen now. So I'm going to leave you again uh, with this beautiful message, okay, that um, immediately after the tribulation of those days that we're living in right now, the sun shall be darkened, the moon shall not give her light. That is the solar eclipse and the stars shall fall from heaven. Two days later, there's a meteor shower, okay? And then there's going to be the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. That is the rapture, brothers and sisters, the one that's going to make all the tribes of the earth mourn. And then 15 days later, on that full moon, when King Charles is getting coronated, okay, that is when the moon is going to turn to blood, and the uh, sun will be black as sackcloth and then the men are going to run to their caves because the day of uh, the wrath of the lamb is here and who can stand none of them none of them brothers and sisters so again i am human i can be wrong i am fallible but i just had to bring this across to you and give you most importantly give you the message of um of having faith having faith in the redemption and salvation, the harpazo, the rapture, the deliverance, the catching up, the promise in the word of God. Have faith in it, brothers and sisters. He will spare you. We are to pray to be found worthy, to escape all, A-double-L, all of the things that are coming upon this earth so that we can stand before the Son of Man. And look at these people in Revelation you know, they ask the rocks to fall on them because who can stand? Okay? It's all about standing, being able to stand. And we can stand because we're covered in the blood of Yeshua, Jesus Christ, and we confess that with our mouth and believe it. And that's how we're saved. All right, brothers and sisters, I love you so much. May Father bless you. May you be encouraged by this message. Hold on to that crown. Let no man steal it because we are about to receive it all together. And I'm looking for it forward to uh, this event happening brothers and sisters and seeing all of you receive your crown of faithfulness okay i love you may father bless you if i don't see you in another video i will see you in the heavenly skies god bless you love you bye